Hi guys, I'm in the process of making a mushroom journal. So in this video, I'm sharing with you the process of the construction of the cover. Um, I've condensed about five hours worth of footage into 30 odd minutes, so I hope you enjoy it, guys. So at this point, I'm just sticking down random scraps of paper from newspapers, um, brown paper bags, um, phone books, just any bits of paper that I can rip up and use um, on this. So I'm sticking them down on top of a lasagna box. It's just one of those ready meal boxes that you get your microwave meals in. Uh, so I'm just covering it in paper to um, just help with the sturdiness of the card. Um, as well as I think, you know, if you have a little play with your work beforehand by sticking down paper, you're kind of bonding with it and, you know, getting the feel of where you want to go in the process. Well, you know, that's how I think anyway. So, yeah, so that's all I'm doing right now is just sticking down paper. So right here, I'm just using some brown um, paper bags. Um, I'm using a Hungry Jack's bag, um, just fast food, uh, similar to Burger King if you're on the other side of the world. Uh, it's a nice thick brown paper. So I'm using that with some PVA glue and I'm sticking it down on top of, you know, as a final layer. Um, and I'm just crinkling it up as I go um, while it's wet and I'm just giving it some nice creases um, which will add to the texture of the cover.
Okay, so now I'm just grabbing a piece of paper um, to fit to the size of the front cover so I can design um, just a quick drawing of what I want to put on the front. So just, it's just a rough idea of how it's going to look. So I've decided on a tree um, with the overhanging branch and I'm going to have some vines um, and leaves hanging from that. Um, there's going to be a, like a canopy on the top and mushrooms down the bottom um, and a fairy door in the bottom of the tree as well. So I'm just grabbing some old, you know, the back end of napkins um, that you pull off when you do your decoupage. Um, I'm just using, you know, the white white bits um, to help shape um, and create the design that I'm after.
Okay, so here I'm grabbing an empty incense box and on top of the incense box is a, um, a metal eyelet that you use to stand your incense sticks up in. So I'm pulling that off and I'm using that as a guide as to where I want my doorknob to go because I will be using that eyelet um, as the doorknob. So I'm pushing it into the paper um, to just leave an indent so I can work around um, and shape the fairy door. Um, I then grab some twine, which is a further on down the video, some um, butcher's twine, and I use that to um, use around the fairy door, um, and I glue that down with some, I think it was Gorilla Glue, to really hold that in place, and I hold it together with pegs, and I just leave it for a while to um, let that set. So that's what's coming up. So um, I hope you're enjoying the video so far, guys. I thought I would try something different and do a little voiceover. Um, like I said, it's a really, really long video condensed into a shortish one. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun making the cover. I still haven't finished it yet. Um, as you can tell, this is only the first stage. Um, but I will keep you guys informed. So anyway, I'll let you keep watching. Um, so yeah, so i just um, adding more paper to help thicken that up um, to give it more depth um, and to make the tree look, you know, like it's got bumps and grooves. Um, so yes, yeah, so I will be using the twine to use to shape the door and the eyelet as a doorknob.
Okay, so here I'm doing my, my most favourite thing in the whole entire world is running my fingers through a box full of gem chips that I've had for many, many years. Um, it's just a mixture of tourbaline, citron, um, there might be some jasper, bits of amethyst through there. Um, you know, just, just little crystals and, um, you know, just semi-precious gem chips. That's all they are. Um, and they're so much fun to work with. Like I said, they're little itty bitty pieces. Um, I'm going to add them into the design of my cover. So this is what I'm doing here. Trying to pick out the colours that I'm after. Okay, so the next day um, I'm working on the insert that goes inside the actual journal that the signatures will be attached to. So I'm covering that um, the same method as I did the cover. I'm wrapping it in old bits of book page um, and scraps of paper. Um, it just gives it a bit more rigidity, or is that a, if that is that even a word? <laughs> um, just helps, you know, strengthen it up a little bit. Um, so I'm using the PVA glue and the brown paper bag, um, takeaway bag, to create um, the same texture as the cover. So yeah, and if you've noticed, it's a little bit of a different screen. I've got um, a follower goal up the top there, and I've got um, a slideshow happening. Um, this is a Twitch setup that um, I'm trying to figure out and play with, and I'm trying to figure out how to utilize it in YouTube. Um, but yeah, so it's fun over in Twitch, guys. Um, if you get a chance, pop over and, and see me. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, I have a little bit of fun. It's just a completely different atmosphere over there. Um, it's, it's more of a gaming channel, but um, it's only where you can do live broadcasts. So I, I'm enjoying it. Um, as you can tell, you can add some bit of flair, and I'm getting all tech savvy, aren't I? <laughs> um, and a little picture of me, like a little video clip of me, will pop up in that other corner. Um, I thought I would finally show my face. I'll attack the Twitch viewers <laughs> before before I subject my faithful YouTube followers. Um, but anyway, but yeah, so I'm just wrapping it in paper, getting all the crinkles in there. Um, I'll get the heat gun out in a minute. As you can see, there I am up there. Hi guys. <laughs> Um, I'm just using the heat gun to speed up the process so I can finally paint. Um, yes. So there it goes on the inside, in the inside the spine. Um, so as you can tell, I've given my book um, a, a paint. I gave it a layer of gesso first. So um, the first layer was just a coat of gesso, white gesso. Um, the second coat was um, yellow ochre. Um, right here, I'm trying to patch up a little bit that I've missed. Um, I noticed that the paper wasn't quite um, overlapping. And yeah, so I'm just patching that up um, with some PVA and napkin. Um, it's only a slight miss here and there, so it's not anything major. It's not going to um, snap in half. Um, it's just a little, just to make it look nice. Um, so as you can see, I've added some book bands on the spine, which I think um, they're great. I, lo I love the look of them, actually. Um, so yeah, just um, adding the yellow, as you can see, on. I'm just covering up where I've patched. So now you can t see the process that I've done on the cover um, that I do on here. So first off, layer of gesso. I'll dry that quickly with the heat gun just to speed things up a little because I'm really impatient. Impatient even. <laughs> um, so then I go in with the yellow um, so it matches the cover. And we let that dry. And then from here on, um, I show you the process of how it was actually painted. So um, this is where I'll let you go, guys. So continue watching. Um, 
and yeah I'm, I had really hope you enjoy this video um, I'm having a lot of fun experimenting with different you know <laughs> platforms and just different methods of videoing um, see if I can get it perfect for my YouTube viewers um, so Twitch is kind of an experiment and you guys see the finished result <laughs> so anyway guys enjoy Okay guys, so this is what I've done so far. I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, it just needs a tweak here or there, but it's now ready for the signatures and the sewing in. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching guys. You know what to do. Give your loved ones a hug. They're precious. Bye for now.